Hello, everybody. It's Dave Neal, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Nation News. We've got a proposal and a hard launch of a relationship. Uh, we always know that Christmas season is one in which love is defined, that being either you're together or you're not for the holidays. You know, if you start dating someone after November 15th, maybe you don't make it official for the Christmas season. But if you've been dating someone since September, it's like, are you going to go ice skating? Are you going to get presents? And in this case, with Marlena, she's... Uh, got a ring on it a uh, italian fiance so a nice hallmark story for us there follow me on instagram at dneals i'll be live on patreon as you're watching this come join us patreon.com slash dave neal and also bachelor rush hour the afternoon podcast all of your entertainment and pop culture news in one place for your rush hour ride home all right before we get into marlena we've got john hersey here uh hard launching a new girlfriend two photos here here's the first one and here's the second uh doesn't really share much as far as we know other information regarding the lady, but uh, looking very svelte there in a nice uh, winter suit with some nice Nikes. And uh, some people are saying, oh, she looks like Katie Thurston, which is ridiculous. They just both are brunettes, so not all brunettes look alike. Justice for brunettes here. Uh, but either way, a million-dollar smile from both of them. Very good-looking couple, and congratulations to John Hersey. All right, so let's move on to our featured announcement. The Bachelor alum Marlena Wesh announces engagement to to Tommaso Mattelli. A million times, yes. Yes, Amelie. Uh, is that offensive to do this to the Italians? Wesh previously appeared on the 26th season of the ABC series in 2022. She's also a former Olympian. Marlena is engaged and ready for the next chapter in her love story. The Bachelor alum and former Olympian who appeared on the show's 26th season in 2022, who was, I can't even remember, is that Clayton season? I can't even remember, announced her plans to marry now fiancé Tommaso Martelli in a heartfelt Instagram post Christmas morning. Okay, let's go to the Christmas post, folks. Here it is, multiple photos. We'll share the video. She's changed her Instagram to Lena Hilary. I have so much I want to say, but I can't find the words right now. Thank you, Tommy, for being intentional with my heart. Thank you for loving me in strength and in weakness. Thank you for fighting for me. Thank you for always choosing me. I will never forget this day. A million times, yes. I am so excited for this next chapter in our love story. Marlena Martelli has a nice ring to it. Ladies and gentlemen, she said yes. She said yes. Very happy, Marlena uh, and Tommy right here. So here's the photo and another photo of them. I don't know. Did he propose Christmas Eve? Either way, what a great shirt. What is this jacket he's wearing? It's like a royal maroon velvet jacket. Nice style here. And here is them uh, telling what might be his family back in Italy. I'm not sure. Have a listen. <laughs> And then someone said, I Bellini. What does that mean? Someone told me. <laughs> and like you can hear the people in the background cheering. Oh my God. Bellini. <laughs> so, oh, and somebody got CK1 cologne there. So not only did she get a ring, but he got some cologne. Daddy. Daddy, you knew. You Oh, uh, so that oh, that's Marlena. She says, "Daddy, you knew." So that's Marlena to her father, showing because, of course, uh, traditionally speaking, here Tommy must have asked Marlena's father for permission, and they've got the bottle of champagne ready to be popped. Whenever I see a bottle of champagne that doesn't have the wiring on it, I'm always like, "Careful where you point that; you're going to break someone's eye." <laughs> All right, so there it is. And then here is a nice photo. Again, I don't know where they are doing Christmas. Is this in Italy? Is this in the U.S.? Where are they going to move to? What's the deal? I have no idea. Marlena looking great here with these nice uh, holly red uh, shoes. I don't know what they're called. And uh, yeah, very cute. And uh, and uh, other possible Bachelor contestants here, right? Maybe one day. Can we get everyone on the show? Deandra says she's an Italian wife. Ash Talks Batch says congratulations. Claudia Yankee says congrats, my boo. Cassidy Timbrooks, this is so wonderful. I'm so happy for you both. Lindsay Windham and Jen. So they're all uh, Rodney, congrats. Kate Gallivan, OMG. Marlena, congrats. Hunter, Haley, Garen, Eliza, everyone from that community. Susie Evans says stop. I'm so unwell and so happy for you. Congrats. You deserve all the love 
in the world. And yeah, we'll have to hear more about this nice Italian-American uh, sort of combination we have here. Uh, what? Let's see what else she has posted. Of course, one of her photos here as an Olympian in the 2012 Olympics here. She says, I became the first Haitian female to qualify for the semifinals in the 400-meter dash at the Olympic Games held in London. Although failing to move forward to the finals, I will never forget the pride I felt to bear my flag across my chest. Let me tell you something. We often talk about, you know, people's different successes they find on the show, but the fact that she was an Olympian and made it to the semifinals is insane at the age of 21, absolutely wild. My guess is whatever she sets her mind to, she will accomplish knowing she uh, was able to reach such wild heights uh, professionally. So here's here's Tommy. She says, "Don't wake me up." 2 weeks ago, there's her posting with Tommy here kissing. So they are they have long since been, uh, let's see if there's any other photos of the two, uh, linked up nine month, nine weeks ago. Time be still a beautiful photo of them. I might have to use this for their engagement photo right here. That's I mean, really my, my wife would go crazy. She loves, uh, this old, uh, you know, old stone, uh, you know, uh, whatever this is, uh, walkways and everything. Absolutely beautiful here. Any other photos of the two? Is this Tommy too? This is um, 14 weeks ago in Milan. Paparazzi caught us acting natural. So there they are doing their thing. Very great to see their love story. Oh, here it is. 64 days without you and still deeply purest, most imaginable love I've ever felt. So there they are. Clearly a strong connection here as they share some highlights of their times together. You know, I have to be honest, I haven't heard of this relationship as we have not been covering Marlena, which is always a good thing, by the way. If we haven't heard from somebody, it means they're out of trouble, they're living their best life, and there they are, smooching and traveling and doing the dang thing. So, anything else from them? Let's see. The whole chair just smells bad now. 24 weeks ago. The chair just stinks now. Okay. She says, dating sucks. Seriously, I can't tell you how many dating apps I downloaded and deleted after swiping for 10 minutes. It gave me anxiety up until one day. I downloaded Bumble, paid for premium, and put my feet up. This cute thing was on the other side, and it's been history ever since. <laughs> there they are. I'm Marlena. I'm Tommaso. I'm from Virginia Beach, Virginia. I'm from Florence, Italy. We live here in Miami, Florida. We met on Bumble here in Miami. So, thank you, Bumble. Thanks, Bumble. <laughs> Tommaso and Marlena. Did I say Marlena? Marlena. Pardon me if I got the naming wrong. Either way, so happy for them. Do we have anything else? I mean, come on. We're just trying to search for content from them. More kissy photos. We love those. But if there's any interviews, I don't think so. Well, here's what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to get uh, Tommaso to join Marlena. Maybe they can do, like, I don't know, a bachelor happy hour or something. We'd love to know more about their story. All right. Well, uh, we're slowly getting back into the work environment after a sugar hangover from all of the Christmas cookies I ate. Uh, boy, I can just wake up and, and just sleepwalk over to those Christmas cookies. Either way, I'll be live on Patreon if you want to come catch up with us, and we'll have all of your news. Uh, if you're if you're a few days behind and you need to catch up on all of it, go to Bachelor Rush Hour this afternoon, and we'll have all of your content. And if you missed my Christmas episode yesterday, I had a special Christmas episode for you on the podcast. I think you're going to enjoy it. Go check that out now. Wherever you listen to podcasts, we'll be back right after this.